What's up everybody, Ravindra Joyce here and in this video I'm gonna talk about mistakes that you wanna avoid if you want to master your tripod. So before I go any further, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'll be sharing videos of this kind every week. So in this video I'm gonna share 5 important tips that you might want to make a note of that you can avoid while using tripod. The first point is not to go with the freebie tripods that you get along with your camera. Usually these tripods are of cheap quality and they do not even have sturdiness and it doesn't even support your own camera. So basically that's good enough for your compact camera but not for a good quality DSLR cameras. So always invest in a good quality tripod. Well the second point is not to extend the center column until you extend all of the legs that are present in the tripod. Usually the widest part of the tripod leg is the one that you need to expand first and then followed by the extension. So when you buy a tripod, make sure that the tripod is up to your eye level and the center column is anything beyond that but do not extend the center column because that can add vibration to your image and if you're shooting any kind of long exposure shots, it can cause shaky images. So try avoiding extending the center column. Well, the next point is to be careful when you're capturing photos and when you're using your tripod in somewhere in the riverbed or in the sea because these sand granules can easily enter the columns of the tripod legs and also it can erode the screws. So be careful or if even if you use it, make sure that you clean it as soon as possible. Well, the fourth point is do not over tighten the screws because that can easily break the head mount and also the holder. Because I tried this using my cheaper tripod which I got it free when I bought the camera and that had an issue and I couldn't use it at all. So usually this happens with the low end tripods. When the camera is mounted on the tripod, try avoiding any kind of camera shake. It's always a good practice to use cable release or a wireless trigger. Avoid direct contact with your camera if you want to capture an image or while recording. And also take care of those cables which can add camera shake. So guys, these are the five valuable tips that you definitely want to try in order to master your tripod and to keep it safe and so that you can use it for a longer duration of time. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. So make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel, hit on the bell icon to get all the latest updates. If you have any valuable tips, then make sure you leave a comment below so that I can add it in the next video when I publish it. Thanks for watching. Cheers.